On this week's episode of Ask P Trippy, I tell you guys where I'd love to travel to, I play Flappy Bird, and I announce the winners of the two iTunes gift cards. If you have a question or just something to say, just ask P Trippy and I'll answer away. All you have to do is ask P Trippy. What's up, guys? Alright, so before I get into the questions, I've got two quick things to say. The first, the short drop film that was projected to be uploaded next week Monday, The Party Killer Strike Back, has been delayed due to weather. And I don't want to get into too much specifics about it, but actually I will be talking a wee bit more about it later on in the episode. Second, don't forget I've got a few box that you guys can send me letters and packages to. You can find the address in the description below. Alright, so let's get into the questions. The first question comes from Sam Jones. Don't know if you say it like that. Anyway, Sam Jones wants to know if you had the opportunity to go anywhere in the world for free, where would you go and why? There are many places that I would love to go in the world, but the main place that I would, I've always wanted to go to is New Zealand. Uh, the, you've got many things that you can do there. Uh, there's Queenstown, which from what I've heard is awesome. Uh, there's also, there's this place that I've always wanted to visit. It's like this glowing worm cave thingy. Uh, but there's also a lot of other things that you can do there. But you, you can't forget the beautiful landscape and scenery and whatnot. So I, my plan is hopefully someday I will make it to New Zealand before I die. I hope. The next question comes from Magic Narwhals. And he says, this is not really a question, but a suggestion. He says, you should do a bi-weekly P-Trippy Reacts that is controlled by the subscribers. You might tweak the schedule, obviously, because you are only one person after all. Anyways, I think it would be cool for you to react to our suggestions. I also think it would be cool to react to your guys' suggestions, which is why I'm totally going to do this new series, this P-Trippy Reacts. I'm super excited, and I'm so excited, in fact, that I've already created an intro for the series. That's pretty much how excited I am. Uh, but I want to, I would want, I, bleh, I want to talk more about P-Trip Reacts, but I'm going to save it for a video that I'm uploading tomorrow, Saturday, uh, which I'll go more in depth about the P-Trip Reacts series, talk a little bit more about it, and also in that video I'm going to talk to you guys about short drop films and something that I want to pro propose and possibly change. I'm not going to give too much away, but anyway, so yeah, watch for that video. Alright, Molly Durden wants to know how do you create your thumbnails for YouTube? Well, I use GIMP. I, I'm very fond of GIMP. Now what you're seeing right here is a sped up version of how I created the thumbnail for this video. Basically what I do is I take a photo of myself doing some crazy face or whatnot, and then I cut it out. Either I put text in there, uh, that basically the title of the video, I put the text in there, or if there's, some, there's a graphic that I can put in there, like Flappy Bird, which I'll be playing next, uh, I, I'll, I put a picture of Flappy Bird in there obviously, because that's the title of the video, I play Flappy Bird. So, and then obviously I just changed the number to the number of the episode, and basically that's it. I mean, it's pretty simple, but that's basically how I create thumbnails for my videos. Oh, and I dare so it's pretty much the same. I basically grab the pictures of the ingredients, like bottles of ketchup, whatnot, put it in there, and I crap myself out and put a black background behind it. Pretty much the same concept for all of my videos, that's basically how I do it. Alright, so like I said, Molly Durden also wants me to play Flappy Bird. Alright, so I've been excited to do this. Uh, I almost forgot about this question, but luckily I found it. Alright, so what I'm going to do here is obviously I don't want to just be like, oh, I'm playing Flappy Bird and you guys can't see what's happening. So what I'm going to do is I've got my computer and I'm going, I've got this program, I forget what it's called now, but I believe it's like AirPlay or something. Maybe I can look, wait. Yeah, it's called AirPlay. And basically what I can do is I can screen record my phone onto my computer. So that's what I'm going to do. Let me hook that up real quick while I talk to you guys. Uh, whoa, hello. Okay. So, and actually I'm not going to have the sound playing during Flappy Bird, mainly because I, I honestly find it to be kind of distracting. Alright, so it says my AirPlay display has been disconnected. Does that mean I have to, hold on. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, there we go. Got it. Alright, so let me, whoa, hello. Alright, let me set this to record. I really can't see what I'm doing here. There we go. Alright, it's recording. Alright, let's play. So my main goal here is to beat my hot, my best, which currently it's 25. So let's try to beat my best. Alright. Damn it. So you can see my best. Obviously, sometimes it's difficult.
pretty, damn it. It's gonna take me a while. So I don't know how long it's gonna take me to beat my best. If I, if it's taking a while, I'm probably just gonna stop playing it. But, ah, fettuccine. I don't know. I need to like think that you guys aren't watching me right now. I mean, technically you guys are watching me right now, but the thought of you watching me doing this is kind of making me. Yeah, see, the, I don't know, the pressure's getting to me here. I'm usually pretty, I, you, I usually can get farther than that. Fudger, fudger, fudger. It's gonna take me a while. I don't know if I'm gonna be, be able to beat my best right now. You guys are pressuring me. The frick! I'm gonna kill somebody. Okay, you know what, I think it's just time to stop. This is just not cool. Probably just the pressure of you guys. I mean, you, te you guys aren't technically watching. Damn it! But, the thought of you eventually watching this after I upload it is really getting to me here. So. Oh. Oh, come on. Damn it! I got so close! So close! Okay, now I have hope. Let's try this a few more times here. Ah! Okay, one more time. One more time, I swear. Sorry. This video's gonna be like super long now. Okay, you know what? Fuck it. All right. So, obviously, I'm a, I'm quite. Let me just stop this recording here. All right. So that's about eight minutes of footage right there. So obviously, I'm gonna cut that down a bit. Now, obviously, I I would not call myself a very good Flappy Bird player, but I'm a pretty good Flappy Bird player. At least I think so. Uh, but the pressure of you guys, obviously, you're, you guys aren't watching me right now while I'm filming the video. But the thought of you guys eventually watching me playing Flappy Bird after I upload a video kind of, it's kind of weird. The pressure got to me and I wasn't able to play at my full potential. Usually I can get past 11 a bunch of times, but I was not even able to get past 11. So, but you guys got to see me play Flappy Bird nonetheless. Alright, so now it's time to announce the winners of the iTunes gift cards. So I'm going to quickly kind of show you guys how I picked the winners so that you guys can see that it's completely random and completely fair. So what I did is I took the usernames of you you guys who uh, commented a question. Those of you who just left comments, I'm sorry. I specifically said that it needed to be a question. So you guys were not entered, sorry about that. But rules are rules. All right, so I took the usernames of those who left the question and I copied and pasted that into a text edit document on my computer. Then I copied and pasted that onto, onto uh, random.org's list randomizer. Randomized that list, obviously there's about 13 entries right there. So, that's completely random. Now I go to random.org's random number generator, obviously put the max at 13, then sort of 13 entries, and the first winner is Milan Bandaluka. So congratulations to you, and then I go back and generate another number, and that number corresponds to the second winner. The second winner is Blue Shadow RP. So, congratulations to both of you. Um, I'm gonna inbox you guys the codes on YouTube. Uh, so that you guys can redeem your $15. Now, for those of you who did not win, I'm completely sorry, uh, but that's just the way it works. You guys will have another chance in the near future. I probably won't be doing give uh, iTunes gift card giveaway in some time. Whoops, I just moved my camera. Uh, because I've obviously, I've obviously done four gift card giveaways in like the past few months. So I'm going to take a little break, and the next time that I'll be announced, uh, no, no, what? The next time that I'll be giving away iTunes gift cards will probably be Obviously, my birthday video, and then possibly sometime before then, if I go on summer vacation or whatnot. So, that's all I got for this week's episode of Ask Me Trippy. So, please leave me your questions in the comments below, and I'll be sure to answer them on a future episode of Ask Me Trippy. If you enjoyed this video, please give this video a thumbs up down below. Also, down below is the subscribe button. Click it now. I upload awesome content like this every Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and Friday. So, subscribe not to avoid missing out. Alright, so thank you for the wonderful questions. I love you guys. I'm Patrick Trippy, and as always, 
Thanks for watching.